Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, aka The Diligent Dev, and welcome to another video tutorial. Now this is not gonna be like my normal tutorials, which are about 20 to 40 minutes long and cover a narrow topic. No, in this one, we're gonna be building out a full application. So what are we gonna be building? Well, we're gonna be building a Tinder style movie night picker, so couples don't have to fight about what they're gonna watch on movie night. What we're gonna do is we're going to build an application with authentication where users can log in. They can add their partner as a partner in our application, and then they'll be given a list of movies. Now they can thumbs up or thumb down those movies, and if they have a match with their partner, it'll be displayed in another part of the application, so they never have to fight about movie night again. I can't say this wasn't inspired by my own experiences. But anyways, we're gonna be building out this app using Vue.js, Vuetify, Vuex Fire, and Firebase. So let's hop over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are over at the computer, and in order to create our project, we're gonna be using the Vue CLI. So if you don't already have it installed, you need to install it. And to do that, you run the following command, npm install dash g for global, at view slash CLI. Now I already have this installed, but if you don't, go ahead and pause the video here and install it. Once you have it installed, we're going to run the following command. View create movie night picker. We're going to choose manually select features and we're going to select Babel, router, Vuex and we'll leave linter and formatter selected and we'll hit enter. It's gonna ask us if we wanna use history mode for the router, we'll say yes. We're just going to ESLint with error prevention only, we'll lint on save. We're going to store these in dedicated config files and I am not going to save this for future projects. And once this is done installing, I will be right back. Now that everything has installed successfully, we can go ahead and add Vuetify to our project. So in order to do that, we're going to CD into Movie Night Picker, or what you can do is just copy this line, paste it in, and then we're gonna run the following command, view, add, Vuetify. And we're just gonna choose the default presets, and once it is done installing, I will be right back. And now that Vuetify has been installed successfully, what I've done is open the project in Visual Studio Code. It is the code editor I'm gonna be using, so if you'd like to follow along, I'd highly suggest that you go and download it. And now that we have it open, we're going to install some project dependencies. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Terminal, New Terminal, and we're gonna run the following command. npm install Vuex Fire, Firebase, and Axios. We'll hit Enter. And once those are done installing, I will be right back. And now that the dependencies have been installed successfully, what we're gonna do is start a development server. So in the terminal, I'm gonna run npm run serve. And now we have our development server up and running. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit command click. And if I drag this over, we see that we have a boilerplate Vuetify project. And we're gonna go ahead and clean some of this up. So let me pin this over here and pin this over here. And what I wanna get rid of is this Vuetify logo. Actually, I just wanna get rid of everything. Maybe we'll put Movie Night Picker uh, in our app bar, but let's go ahead and get rid of everything. So we're gonna go to app.view, and we'll see we have our V app bar here. Let me close this down. And what I wanna get rid of in here is these two images. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete these. We'll put an H2 in here and just say Movie Night Picker. We'll also get rid of this button over here that says latest releases. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And while we're at it, we might as well get rid of this hello world component. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the import, delete the registration of the components, and go ahead and delete the components. And then I will open up our file explorer. We will go to views, or I'm sorry, components and we'll just go ahead and delete Hello World out of here. And then we'll go ahead and save everything. And then we need to go into our views, go to home, go ahead and delete this Hello World component out of here, delete the registration, and finally delete the Hello World component in home. And we're gonna go ahead and save everything. And then if we reload, we see all we have is our app bar with our header of Movie Night Picker. 
And now that we have our view project all set up and ready to go, the next thing we need to do is set up our Firebase project. So head over to firebase.google.com, go ahead and create an account if you don't already have one, and then click go to console. Next thing we're gonna do is add a new project, and I'm just gonna call this movie nights picker tut for tutorial you can name it anything you'd like and hit continue i am not going to enable google analytics and i'm going to click create project and once it's done creating the project i will be right back and now that the project's been created let's go ahead and set up the features that we're going to be using the first one is going to be authentication so i'm going to click here i'm going to go to sign in methods and all we're going to do is enable email and password so i'm just going to enable it and save it next we're going to do is head over to cloud firestore I'm gonna click create database. We're gonna start in production mode and we'll just pick the default server. And once it's done provisioning the Cloud Firestore, I will be right back. And now that the Cloud Firestore has been provisioned, let's go ahead and set up our rules. So we'll click on this rules tab and you'll see allow read write if false. Now this is going to lock it down so no one can read or write to it. What we're gonna do is make it so that anyone that is authenticated, they can read and write to it. Now this isn't comprehensive of the rules that you would need. So I'd recommend that you brush up on Cloud Firestore rules and lock down your data a little bit more than what I'm about to do. But at least this will make sure that whoever is reading and writing to our database is at least authenticated. So what I'm gonna do is come to this if, we're gonna delete this false, and I'm just gonna say request dot auth does not equal null and we're going to go ahead and publish those and it's all set up and ready to go so people will need to be authenticated if they are going to be reading and writing from the database and the last thing we need to do is actually initialize firebase inside of our project so let's go ahead and click on this project overview up here and up here at the top, you see this little web icon. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna give my app a nickname. We'll just call it Movie Night Picker. And I'm gonna click Register App. And then it's gonna give me some code down here. And what I'm gonna do is inside of this script tag here, I'm gonna copy everything. So I'm gonna copy everything in there. We're going to head back to our Firebase project. And I'll go ahead and full screen this. We're going to head to main.js. And right underneath here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. And then you'll see we were getting an error. So what we need to do up at the top is import Firebase from Firebase. And that will resolve that error. And the last thing we need to do is export our database. So we're gonna say export const db equal to Firebase dot Firestore and everything is compiled successfully. We're getting no errors. So that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the project setup. In our next video, we're gonna be focusing on authentication. So go ahead and like and subscribe so you get notified when that new video comes out. And until next time, happy coding.